If you love Sennheiser like myself, you'd probably think about whether you'll get the more budget-friendly option or the higher-end one for a more future-proof audio Bluetooth device. In this video, we'll talk about two major differences between the Sennheiser CX Plus and the newest Sennheiser True Wireless Momentum 3 to help you decide which wireless earbuds could work best for you. Let's find out. Starting off with a cheaper option is the Sennheiser CX Plus True Wireless Earbuds. It is basically the updated version of the Sennheiser CX lineup that was released over a year ago that includes some new features and design. Inside the box is the earbuds unit, the USB to USB-C charging cable, the silicone ear tips in different sizes, and as well as the instruction manual. Now, taking a closer look at the earphones, the case itself is made with a matte finish hard plastic material along with the Sennheiser logo on top. The CX Plus earphones, however, is not a wireless charging capable, so you wouldn't get the convenience of placing it on top of your wireless charging device overnight. Instead, you'll need to charge it via USB-C port on the back of the case. That takes about an hour and a half for a full charge or 10 minute charge for an hour music playback. And when it comes to battery life, each earbud can take up to 7 hours of usage while 28 hours with a charging case. Now the earphones are made with hybrid materials, a hard plastic shell and a tempered glass surface for touch controls that gives an IPX4 rating secured from sweats or minimal splashes which are perfect when you're at the gym or just on the go. And speaking of controls, these pair of earbuds use a touch-sensitive control where it allows you to navigate all your media controls by tapping the actual earbuds. The CX Plus uses a Bluetooth 5.2 connection and it has an active noise cancellation feature with its two beamforming microphones array for hybrid noise reduction that blocks all, if not most of the surrounding noise. To start pairing the earbuds via Bluetooth connection to your device, simply tap and hold both earbuds for about 3 seconds until it appears on your device under the Bluetooth section. Then select the earbuds in the option and you're good to go. And by default, each earbud has its own control function for your media. Right on the left side, a single tap will set the earbuds to a transparency mode. Double tap will select the previous song or the media you're listening to. Triple tap will activate the active noise cancellation feature. Then tap and hold will set the volume down until it reaches your desired volume. While on the right ear allows you to play and pause with a single tap. Double tap to move to the next track. Triple tap for your device voice assistant. And then tap it and hold to increase the volume up. Now what I like about these earbuds is that they use a mono mode where it allows you to listen with just one earbud while the other is charging. And when it comes to phone calls, the CX Plus also features a side tone where it allows you to hear yourself through the microphone feedback. Now before I move on to the sound quality comparison, let's move on to the Sennheiser recently released pair of earbuds which is the True Wireless Momentum 3. Now I've been using this pair of earbuds for quite some time now to see how will it stack up with a less expensive CX Plus. This Momentum 3 also comes with the same inclusions, such as the USB and USB-C charging cable, the included ear tips to match your ear size, the included optional wing tips in different sizes, and as well as the instruction manual. Now unlike the CX Plus, of course, there are several features that are added to this Momentum 3 given the price point difference. The Momentum 3 has a more sophisticated look with its fabric-like material on the case itself compared with the hard plastic case of the CX Plus. It also has a wireless charging feature that allows you to charge conveniently on any wireless charging base and leave it overnight. However, it can also be charged via cable through the USB-C port located on the front of the case. And speaking of battery, it'll give about 7 hours battery life from the earbuds itself while a total of 28 hours when the case is included. The actual earbuds now comes with a matte finish aluminum housing with a modern look that still features a touch sensitive controls same as with the CX Plus. 
and by default they pretty much have the same controls where each earbud can control individually by their functions for your media. The earbuds is also rated for an IPX4 rating which means it is safe to use for sweats and minimal splashes, same as with the CX Plus. Not to mention all these earbud controls can be customized by using the Sennheiser Smart Control app that can be downloaded on iOS or Android devices for both CX Plus and the Momentum 3. And when it comes to customization, this app also takes control of certain customizations such as the connection management where you can choose which connected device to pair and use the earbuds to. An equalizer that allows you to set your desired audio filter either by boosting the bass, mid, and treble and saving it as your new or default preset. Or you can simply choose Sennheiser default presets on either of their selected genres. It also highlights the sound check feature that allows you to create your own customized equalizer preset by navigating the audio filter interface so you can really personalize your own liking, whether you'd like your audio to be heavier or softer. It has the transparency mode that you can set to off to not hear any of your surroundings or turn it on when the music is playing or have it activated only when you pause the music. Plus, you can also adjust the level of transparency on either low, mid, or high level. Underneath that is the adaptive noise cancellation with three options. You can either turn it off or a wind reduction or have the ANC completely turned on. Now, Sound Zones is a feature that uses your location which allows you to set a certain preset depending on where you're at. So whether you're at the gym or at work, it'll automatically adjust the headphones preset based on your physical location. And finally, the touch controls which you can turn on and off if you don't want to navigate the earphones using its own touch sensitive controls. Which can also be helpful if you want to avoid accidental tapping off of the earbuds. And this is also where you can customize certain controls on each side of the earbuds by choosing which side you prefer to control your music and phone calls. But for me personally, the default preset control is good enough for my liking. Now this Momentum 3 also uses a mono mode where you can individually use one earbud while the other is charging. Another cool feature of these earphones is the adaptive noise cancelling where it isolates the audio from the noise background as it conforms depending on the surrounding that you're in. And in my experience, when compared to the CX Plus, the noise cancelling feature on this Momentum 3 works a little better as it literally disengages most of the surrounding sounds giving you a better listening experience. Now what makes this Momentum 3 more advanced is the added feature which is what they call the True Response Technology that has a single high performance dynamic transducer giving you a more balanced and natural sound listening experience. Which in my opinion, it does really makes the sound more punchy and clear in a satisfying way as if like you're hearing every instrument used in a song you're listening to. And since this Momentum 3 uses a 3 beam forming microphones per earbud for noise reduction versus the 2 microphones from the CX Plus, here's what it sounds like in comparison when making a phone call. You're now listening to Sennheiser CX Plus microphone in a quiet environment where the audio was recorded directly from a mobile device, testing how the audio would sound like in a quiet room. You're now listening to Sennheiser CX Plus microphone with a fan noise just right beside the microphone and the earbuds where the audio is recorded directly from a mobile device, testing how the audio would sound like with a noisy fan. You're now listening to Sennheiser Momentum 3 microphone in a quiet environment where the audio is recorded directly from a mobile device, testing how the audio would sound like in a quiet room. You're now listening to Sennheiser Momentum 3 microphone with fan noise just right beside the microphone and the earbuds, where the audio is recorded directly from a mobile device, testing how the audio would sound like with a noisy fan. 
Now, when it comes to physical design, I find it a bit more secure when wearing the Momentum 3 earbuds compared to the CX Plus due to its added wingtip that locks in your ear, especially when you're out running or moving a lot. However, the CX Plus also gives that comfortable and secured grip in the ear, which a lot of consumers actually prefer. But keep in mind that the Momentum 3 has an included ear fin set that has no wingtip if you prefer a simple ear adapter just like the CX Plus. When it comes to sound quality, this Momentum 3 definitely has a high fidelity audio quality which gives a more accurate sound profile letting you hear the audio in a much warmer and fuller bass tone. Well, I'm not an audiophile myself or any sound expert as you may, but when compared to the CX Plus, Honestly, it doesn't seem to make much of a difference in my opinion, as this less expensive earbuds also has a bass boost effect to it, which is very similar to the Momentum 3. The clarity and balance of the CX Plus also provides a great sounding separation with a noticeable depth and detail that the Momentum 3 has. Perhaps it's about the added feature that are now included in the Momentum 3. In addition, I'll be putting some links in the description below on where you can get the CX Plus or the Momentum 3. So overall, I like the sounding experience on both of these earbuds. The mids, the highs, and the tone both have close or if not similar warm audio profile with an adjustable bass to customize your listening preference. So choosing between the two will definitely come down to the budget and your preferred or needed feature since most of them are in the new Momentum True Wireless 3. Nevertheless, if you're fine using a pair of earbuds without the wireless charging and that can pair up with two devices instead of three and doesn't care too much of the adaptive noise cancelling but you'd rather be okay with an active noise cancelling feature, then the CX Plus can save you a lot of money while having the great audio experience. But if you're looking for an high-end spec earbuds with added features and high fidelity audio profile, then there's no doubt that the Sennheiser Momentum True Wireless 3 is considerably a great investment that you would want to have. For more awesome gadget accessory reviews, please don't forget to hit like and subscribe. This has been Trey from Mobile Code PH.